Hey, it's the Preacher here, and we are going to do an experiment, and I'm not as excited about it as I was. I was walking through Cabela's last, I don't know, a couple weeks before Christmas, and uh, perusing the aisles of, of the reloading section, and looking for something to catch my eye. I had some Christmas money I needed to spend, and anyways, I'm looking, just browsing through the bullets, and I ran across these. And man, I got excited. I was like, wait a minute, that's a 100 grain, 30 caliber bullet? A varmint load for a 30 caliber at 100 grains? I'm like, I'm sitting here with a 300 blackout. Uh, man, I'm going to have fun with this. This will be great. So uh, I'm looking at it and I'm like, SJ, what's, what's SJ stand for? Speed jacket, soft jacket, short jacket? Uh, yeah, short jacket. I want you to look at the picture on the front of that. Looks like a good bullet, doesn't it? I even look at the picture there. I'm like, that's like a good bullet. Well, I don't want to cut this open and make somebody else think they bullets got stolen. So I looked down at the price. I even got more excited. It was like $16.99, but they were running a special. I ended up getting these for under 15 bucks, I think. Something like $14, $50 or something. Which is not bad for 30 caliber Hornady bullets. But when you open up the box, short jacket is what they are. And by short, they mean like just enough to get in the case neck. And so I was like, man, that, that don't look like any varmint bullet I've ever seen. That, that looks like something out of a Chinese rifle. Well, these are designed to be shot out of a 30 caliber carbine. So I thought, well, you know, hey, I got this 300 blackout. I'm going to shoot it. The problem is when you go to load... Um, 300 blackout you end up with this a really really short squatty cartridge and I don't have the the jacket in the brass very far at all but I'm trying to maintain my length because I shoot a Remington 700 um, it's the tactical version and I have found over time that I need I need my bullets to be at least the the maximum spec if a little bit longer just because the quicker I engage the lands, the more accuracy I get. So what I typically shoot are these here. This is a 125 grain uh, Nosler ballistic tip. And I need that length to get any kind of accuracy. If I shoot a shorter um, 150 grain, 165 grain core lock, something with a cantaloupe where I'm seating the bullet down to the cantaloupe, I just get no kind of accuracy. Uh, you know, two inches at 100 yards which I'm not interested in a gun that shoots two inch groups at 100 yards. So I don't have high hopes for these. I looked online, I combed YouTube looking for someone doing a video on it and I couldn't find one. So if there's a video out there, I'm sorry. I, I looked, I couldn't find it. I read some of the 300 blackout forums and one thing I know about 300 blackout forums, you can't believe what you read on there half the time. So I'm only in them to, into them for about $14.50, so it's no big deal if they don't work. Uh, I did try to chamber them in, the, in my uh, Remington 700. They will not come from the magazine into the barrel. I'll have to shoot these one at a time. That's what I read on some of the forums. But I'm sure if you have a breakover, man, they would probably work great because there's no chambering issue. So if they shoot good, man, I'll, just, I'll just shoot them one at a time. We'll load them up and we'll shoot shoot junk around the house with them. If they don't work good, maybe I'll save you $15. Either way, we're going to go to the range. I have uh, two different loads worked up. One with 18.4 grains. That was a homemade recipe that was supposed to work well with 100 grain short jackets. And then I have one with 16.5 grains, which the concern is not having a, a copper jacket all the way to the top that these are going to come apart if you get to going too fast. So we're going to try to keep the velocity down and just hopefully get some accuracy out of them. If it's accurate, I'll shoot it. If it's not accurate, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I'm not going to buy a 30 carbine just to get rid of 1450 worth of bullets. Anyways, stick around. We're headed to the range. Record? Am I in it? Yeah, you're good. All right, we're shooting 100 grain short jacket Hornady bullets. This round of five has 16 grains, 16 and a half grains of H110 and 
We're shooting them at 35 yards, so we'll see how they do. All right, let's okay, go take this a look. is 35 yards, 16 and a half grains, H110 with 100 grain soft jackets. Uh, the Hornady soft jackets for 30 carbine. Uh, this is probably a two inch group at 35 yards. We have one about a half inch low, one right on the orange, two right off the orange, and one about an inch high. So not great. 30 caliber short jacket, test number two. This is five rounds, 18.4 grains of H110. We're shooting at 35 yards. Let's go take a look. We had one shot hit here, one hit here, one hit here, and one hit here. These two, these two, and one there. This one was from earlier, the tab. There's the tab. There. That's about a two and a half inch group at 35 yards with 100 grain short jacket. 18.4 grains of H110. The reason I think this is happening is not because the bullets are tumbling. They all look to have entered in good shape at 35 yards. I think it has to do with the distance between the bullet and the lands. These bullets are so much shorter just to get them seated into the brass. Uh, you have so much traveling space before you hit the lands. In my uh, 700 300 blackout the length of the bullet is very critical if I shoot bullets with a cantilever on them and just crimp at the cantilever I don't get really any kind of great accuracy I have to have a longer bullet to achieve accuracy so you know unless you're trying to hit a pie plate at 35 yards these really ain't the bullet to be messing with hope that helps you never told me to record you recording now you got you got this in here is what I want to see. I'm okay. Yeah, it's okay if I'm in it too. That's fine. Yeah. We're recording. You're good. <laughs> Best cameraman in the world. <laughs>